Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through socket system call for connection oriented. So basically one thing you should remember is nothing but if it is a connection oriented, initially the connection is established guys. So establishment of connection is mandatory. If it is a connection less, then no establishment is done. Direct data transfer is done guys. Please remember these two things. If you remember these things, this topic and the next topic which we will be discussing is connectionless. Both will be 100% clear guys. I am sure about it. You should understand the concept. Connection means establishing is mandatory. Connectionless means direct data transfer. There is no need of any establishment. Okay. So I hope now everyone got a clear idea right about these things. Okay. So in connection oriented system call transfer. First the server is started. Then after some time the client is started. That connection connected to the server. Okay. Okay. So basically you need to explain the diagram guys because in some kind of examinations they could give this as a 3 or 4 marks question. So in that situations you need to explain it. Okay. Okay. So initially we know that the server is the 24 by 7 online system. Right. So the server is a device or a computer you can say which will be 24 by 7 online or active and it is just waiting for some kind of request to respond it back. Okay. So it is always in the listen state. So basically initially it is created that is nothing but socket. The socket means it is a function you can assume guys. We will be discussing about these functions all these functions don't worry. So socket is nothing but a socket that is nothing but an end point is created with this socket function. Bind is nothing but an IP address is assigned to this socket now. Okay. So after that the device the server starts listening. Okay. So once it is listening it is just waiting for someone to ask or someone to connect. Okay. So and it is ready to accept. Accept is nothing but it is ready to receive calls now. So its ringtone is on and it is ready to receive the call. So now client came into play. He had a socket address and he is now trying to connect to it. Okay. So once he is trying to connect, is the server machine free now? Yes, because it is not doing any task. It is free. So it will be giving him a chance. So the connection has been established successfully. So then the client will be writing the data. Okay, so he'll be requesting for that particular data, some data or some data and the server will be responding him back with the data here you can see data reply here data request will be sent and here write will be sending the data. Okay, then you'll be closing on the both sides. So this process continues in between multiple times. Okay, okay. So if you want a brief uh, description again, so initially you will be creating the socket, then you'll be binding an IP address to it, IP plus port guys. After that you'll be listening and you, then you'll be ready to accept anything. So if client system came into play, then you will be connecting him to the R system. Then you will be reading it. Sorry, then you will be asking or requesting from the client side for some data. That is nothing but data request. After processing that data, the server will be responding you back with the data. That is nothing but data reply. And then once everything is done, once all the data transfer is done, you will be closing it. Okay. Okay. So this is a connection oriented guys. The only thing that you should remember is connection is established here before sending the data. Okay. Okay. So in the next lecture, we will be going through connection less guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.